today is latex milk. Quite smelly, but very easy to use. Once it's dry, it doesn't smell at all. On the top of the head here, there's a cut made with the famous Angel's Cut Kit. Inside the wound here, we've used toilet paper and we planted a little cockroach. And we've used, as a foundation on the skin, we've used old age. And this is how it's done. To give the rubber milk some body, we're going to be using ripped up toilet paper. Pour a bit of the latex milk into a tray or a saucer or a plate and then apply a layer to the area of your skin that you want to have a wound on. Whilst the product is still wet, loosely apply scraps of paper but don't try and be neat and tidy. Give this some time to dry and then apply another coat. As the name suggests, latex milk is a natural rubber product. If you think you might have allergies to rubber, do a test patch behind the ear on the sensitive skin to see if you get a reaction. When applying latex milk, we use an item such as disposable kitchen towel so as not to ruin our sponges. So you need to leave it to dry completely before you put anything over the surface of it. In the meantime, I'm going to start painting my face. When applying the makeup, be sure to go right into the hairline or if you are bald you'll need to cover your whole head. Also make sure you take the makeup down into the collar line and cover your ears if they're going to show. When the latex is completely dry gently apply the makeup over the surface of the wound with a soft dabbing motion. We've chosen to use an old age pancake rather than white. It washes the colour out of your skin. Whilst we're giving that a chance to finally dry off, I'm going to apply a cup to the top of the head. The cup kit contains the wax, the blood and the tool and full instructions. When using latex milk or a great deal of blood, apply it in an area where you can wipe up afterwards, say a bathroom or a kitchen. Gently, not poking into the face, poking down into the latex. Open up a pocket and you form little openings that you can work with. Fill that wound. I can feel it running down inside and because the uh, surface is made of toilet paper, it's absorbing the blood and it will develop over time. Can you ever have too much blood? I made it, had an accident there. Let's make it look like it's meant to be. Pull the wound away from the face. Slide your roach into your pocket. And don't forget, the roach too deserves to be made up. If you wish, you can add eye accessories supplied with full, simple to follow instructions which you must read and understand before using the product. Before we finish, you can take this wound slightly further if you wish. Remove the cockroach. And pull the side of the wound away. Open a flap of skin up. Then you would have to add blood so that will move like the rubbery mess that it is and look like peeling skin. When you've completely finished having a good time, simply pull the wound away. You may get tiny traces of rubber solution on the edge, which will rub away with your finger. This here is wax based. Simply scrape it away and then any kind of moisturiser or um, oil-based cleanser will loosen any residual wax from the wound. The face paint is water soluble, so you simply wash it away with soap and water. Where the blood has dried, that will also wash away with soap and water. You just need to rub a little. Well, we hope you've enjoyed our little demonstration and hope that you'll come back 
ever so soon.